There's a lot of good reasons for an IBM iShop to use Git. This video will cover some of those reasons. The first and most obvious reason is the new IT talent that you're trying to attract and hire knows Git and they expect to be able to use Git. An open source repository is nothing new to these developers. Things like GitHub and Bitbucket, they know these tools already. Using Git for source control also offers IBM I developers more flexibility when editing source members. Traditional source control on an IBM I locks the source member, making it difficult to do concurrent development. With Git, developers work on branches. These branches allow many developers to work on the same code base at the same time with no difficulty. Take a look at this diagram. Down the center is the Git repository. We also see two developers, Jessica on the left and John on the right. John starts first by cloning the repository and making a local commit. That's a local change. Jessica's working on a different branch. She also clones the repository and begins making her change. Jessica completes her change first and pushes it to the Git repository. John wants to stay up to date, so he performs a fetch. During that fetch, he picks up Jessica's change and it's merged into his branch. John then pushes his change to the Git repository and Jessica picks up that change during the next fetch operation. The merge operation also deals with conflicts in the code. Using the Git methodology, developers working in the same source member on different branches will only cause a conflict with each other if they change the same line of code. This workflow is difficult if not impossible to support with traditional change management. Using Git with a tool like Bitbucket or GitHub also allows for collaboration and supports distributed development much better than traditional change management. Many shops are modernizing and the open source team already has experience with Git with things like PHP, Node.js, Java, and so on. The same Git repository can be used to store your native code, things like RPG, COBOL, and SQL. Your native code can now use the same pipeline that your open code uses. Webhooks can be used in tools like GitHub and Bitbucket to trigger a process at the correct time. Tools like CloudBees CI or Jenkins can then be used to establish an IBM I pipeline. It's fully automatic. This is DevOps for IBM I. So to answer the question, why should I use Git on my IBM I? New talent already knows Git. It supports concurrent development. It handles conflict resolution. It supports distributed development. It can store your native code. And now your pipeline will support your IBM I. Those are all pretty solid reasons to start using Git.